hello friends welcome to my channel and so in this video I'm going to talk about this uh, Python project a program which I have created and uh, this is a program for retail inventory uh, management so it is mm, I just call it inventory manager so this is my login window and I am going to log in using admin credentials so there would be two users for this uh, program one would be admin and another one would be any employee um, who would be uh, at the cashier window or billing window so I am signing in using admin uh, access and as an admin I can access this particular uh, dashboard or you can say this is the main window where I have uh, access to uh, various uh, details of that shop or whatever company you are um, working with okay so uh, here you can uh, see the details of employees and uh, so when I click this employee this window appears and you can see that there are details here so I have just filled them randomly uh, and uh, you can choose here um, you can also search for any employee uh, so using their name email or contact for example if I put name and here I will simply type Sam search and only Sam will be uh, visible here in this window and then when I click this when I click this uh, list uh, row here all these details they automatically get filled here okay and you can update delete or uh, do anything with the with the dis these details for example if I uh, simply change its his ID to suppose 112 and I s update it I have I am changing here so I will simply click update so uh, basically I cannot change ID all right so uh, ID cannot be changed sorry uh, but you can change other details such as I can change his name to suppose David okay so update uh, update successfully okay and uh, similarly you can uh, or you can uh, create another uh, user here for example three uh, so if i am changing id obviously that would count as new user for example uh, i am creating new user named anil and you can type anything here any details whatever you like uh, salary suppose forty thousand and save so employee added successfully and this employee will now be uh, visible here okay so you can see this is the anil here okay so uh, like that you can uh, see all the details here all right so that is the um, employee and similarly for supplier you can um, input the details of supplier here and you can change this uh, details of supplier suppose samsung is the supplier contact number anything you can update here okay update okay or you can uh, create new uh, invoice for example there is a new supplier for the new supplier you will uh, fill in the details okay and uh, I'll just save here so it is saved successfully and as you can simply detail and delete any supplier if i click on delete uh, this supplier will get deleted and here you can see record is deleted so, okay so uh, with similar functionalities there there is functionality for product here you can add new product here update delete clear all right so uh, and you can search the product for example you want to uh, search by uh, name for for example galaxy all right so, all right so you have to select the name okay selecting option is name so search and this appears here so that is product and similarly you can see the sales sales basically it's a list of bills which you have uh, created for your various customers in the past uh, this is my no invoice number and you can see this is a random bill all right so just like that and you can search the bills using the invoice number for example 375436 put on search and this particular invoice it, it this is the number say 375436 it will be visible to you okay okay so this is a sales 
and uh, for category uh, you can see that uh, there are you can input any number of categories here uh, laptops mobile grocery or whatever name you want to give your category uh, for example bikes you can add and uh, category added successfully you can delete all right so grocery maybe i want to delete this category so simply delete it all right so this is your uh, uh, admin window and now for example if you want to create a new sale so admin has the access to this new sale link from this window itself okay so you can click on new sale from here and this window will got get closed and a new window billing window will appear okay or for example um, you have uh, an, an employee then that employee can sign in using this sign in window and put this submit here and this billing window will appear to that employee uh, all the access uh, which uh, I shown for dash um, that uh, admin uh, person it is not available in this window so billing person will have access to only this window and all he can do here is create new bills alright so for example there is a new customer he wants he want to buy your uh, a galaxy um, maybe um, HP uh, laptop okay so he can click uh, your billing employee he can click on this product here and these uh, details will get appear here or maybe someone wants to buy galaxy 10 maybe so name it will appear here all right or you can search by name product name here all right and we can also create uh, a search by invoice number or maybe uh, that uh, barcode search uh, we can also um, create an option for that here if you need that and this is a simple calculator just for your uh, convenience just in case you need any to do any calculations although this software it does all the calculations by itself for for example if you uh, add this galaxy of uh, uh, phone with uh, quantity of two so i will simply click on this add update cart and you can see that this net pay and bill amount it is 46000 and how come this is 46 this is 2 into 23000 so this is the price per unit so there are two units and total bill amount is 46000 so imagining that uh, we are giving 5% discount this will be net pay and you can see the list uh, of the product on the cart so maybe he wants to buy a maggie packet maybe three packets to add so these are the two products in the cart and two appears here so how many products they are buying two okay first product is this and quantity is two and second product is this and quantity is two so quantity also and quantity is three so you can also change the quantity for example he uh, want to change the quantity to maybe of two all right then update okay so it will ask you product already present in the card do you want to update or remove from the list so you want to update right so i will click simply yes so your quantity got updated to two now so you can see here two so uh, then simply type the uh, name of the uh, your customer maybe uh, say sam again sam maybe and uh, its contact number so after filling these details you you will simply click on generate bill and bill has been saved so this bill has been created and you can see that uh, date is here that is 21st july that is today and your bill number is 37 this bill number it will or invoice number you can say it is unique for every customer okay so every bill will have this unique number and uh, here you can see customer details sam is the name and phone number and this is your uh, personal i mean suppose this is your company name and this is your phone number so that customer can contact you later if he wants okay and this is the product name this is the quantity price and uh, <coughs> likewise this is the total amount so it, it got a little bigger so it is showing like this uh, all right so uh, this is the total bill amount discount and this is the net pay 
so once you have all these uh, you have created the bill you can also print the bill so for example you, you have a printer attached to your system i don't have a printer but if you have a printer and once you click this print uh, this print command it will start printing please wait while printing okay so this um, i don't have printer so it, it is asking me if i want to save it as a pdf document all right so um, but if you have printer it will uh, print all right <coughs> so you can see that um, this temporary window you see this temporary window here all this uh, product detail amount they are coming on a single page and uh, it is um, quite clear here every word every uh, row is clear all these details uh, I mean it was a little clumsy in this window but when final bill is printed it will this this total amount it will be in the same row in the upper row it will not go down here so this is your billing section and uh, once bill is created everything is uh, created and also you can see that quantities are being updated for example you see here this is my hp 4 generation uh, 14 inch 11 generation i3 processor laptop and quantity is 92 for example there's a customer hand he buys maybe one so if he buys one <coughs> then um, obviously uh, this must decrease by one so 91 is there then uh, once bill is generated it must become 90 90 all right so i will simply add this product and uh, maggie is quantity uh, this maggie quantity is 2 so it it will become 35 and galaxy again 2 so it will become 195 so all these quantities they must decrease by these number of quantities all right so add uh, all right uh, all right so it is added now let us say there's another customer his name is uh, maybe Hector all right or whatever name and uh, many contact number so for this customer now I will generate another bill and you you will see the quantities here being updated all right so 91 197 37 they will change all right and generate bill so bill has been saved so 91 has become now 90 and uh, you are uh, i think maggie maybe uh, let me see uh, let me clear it uh, so once again let me add one here then a galaxy i will add two and for maggie i will add two all right so name is david and uh, contact number may be this generate bill okay so you can see that all these quantities they got reduced by this by one this by two and this by two so okay so my quantities are being updated uh, whenever there is a new bill generated so uh, that is the billing section once billing is done your employee will simply log out and he will be taken back to this login window so this is the whole project and uh, there are a few things here which I can uh, still update and uh, of course I need your reviews and I uh, I can update according accordingly okay so if you want to add something new to this project uh, please tell me and I can do that okay so that's all for now uh, and yeah I can uh, share the code with you if you need it just uh, put uh, or maybe I will give a link uh, okay of course uh, uh, I have taken a lot of help for this so I will not charge uh, um, a lot from you but for whatever modification and whatever work I have done extra for this uh, yes I will charge some money for that and uh, that's all so you can see that uh, uh, and yeah once you uh, have the code please make sure that you are uh, familiar with this libraries kinter and then uh, uh, sqlite 3 database so that you understand the code all right and uh, that's all and uh, you know that kinter and sqlite 3 they are pre uh, they come as a they come with the uh, this python 3 so you don't have to uh, install them uh, from outside okay so they come with python 3 
but you have to install this pillow library okay so uh, make sure you install this library so that's all thank you take care bye bye